Hi, I'm Anil, a communications intern for Community Conservation, a small nonprofit organization. Today, I'm at a training for community leaders in northern Myanmar run by Friends of Wildlife, a national NGO. We're going to explore what's being done here and what community conservation could do in the future. Hi, I'm Kai Kai Sui, the beauty director of Friends of Wildlife. Our organization is a national NGO that focuses on biodiversity issues in Myanmar. Friends of Wildlife works with local and national governments as well as international NGOs in order to create protected areas to teach the importance of protecting natural resources and most importantly to involve communities in conservation. One of the key parts of this training is about governance or how villages and government can work together to protect natural resources. The trainees learn about the value of biodiversity and the impact of community forestry and fishery management. The trainees also hear from guest speakers, including the forest department and local NGOs working here around Indoji Lake. Thank you. The community leaders are learning how to set up their own community forestry, waste management, tourism, and organic agriculture projects. The leaders will take what they learn here back home to create change in their villages. Hi, I'm Terry Allendorf. I'm the president of the Board of Directors of Community Conservation and a scientist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. The learning here that the trainees are doing is great because they can learn it here together in a group and then take it home to their own communities and begin projects like community forestry, which helps to conserve wildlife and forests and all the products that people use for their livelihoods. They can try organic agriculture, which also helps to preserve the environment, and waste management projects, which help keep the environment clean. For all these reasons, community conservation is interested in partnering with Friends of Wildlife to create more trainings like this one and to invest more in the projects these trainees will start when they return home. The communities involved in these trainings clearly benefit from the knowledge they gain. However, community conservation and its donors would get return on their investment as well. Hello, I'm April Sansom and I'm the Director of Community Conservation. Friends of Wildlife has protected biodiversity by empowering local people and community conservation is looking into aiding this cause. Not only is this approach to conservation very cost effective, it also gets villagers interested in protecting their forests and fisheries. I'm here in Myanmar to investigate the potential for cooperation between our organization and Friends of Wildlife. This means we are looking into funding more trainings like this one, as well as supporting the trainees' conservation initiatives once they return to their communities. I think the work here really fits well with what community conservation is all about and would be a great addition to our already impressive portfolio of projects. This training is just one example of the great work community conservation could do here in Myanmar. The organization strives to live up to its name and to go beyond what other organizations do and to create real change.